Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to another video. This is Toriel Sultan. In this video, we're going to review an AppSumo lifetime deal called OutScraper. After playing around with it, personally, I came up with a conclusion that there is a huge potential of this app for you to make some passive income on the internet. How we can achieve that? Stick to the end of this video so you won't miss any tips and tricks and the nuggets I mentioned along the way. Without further ado, let's get into it. So OutScraper allow you to script data from Google map places. So this way you can actually script a lot of local business data, export them to a CSV or Excel sheet or JSON file. So $89 allows you to pull 5,000 businesses profile on a monthly basis. So it will reset every month. On top of the 5,000, you can also validate 5,000 email and social profile. I'm gonna show you guys just in a moment. And besides that, there's a whole bunch of features you guys can read about, including API, and so forth. And right before we touch on how to use this scraper tool, it's really important to know what we're going to do with the data, right? Are you able to monetize the data or make a passive income out of it? I found on their blog post, for example, you can be having a local SEO service agency or marketing agency, right? The perfect target audience could be that one niche. So within a few clicks, you can actually gather everyone into a spreadsheet and you can start it a cold email outreach or cold calling. It's up to you. And then you can also find companies companies that have a negative or low reviews on Google Maps. This way you can pitch your service to them. Maybe you have some sort of a Google review strategies to help them to basically manage their reputation. On top of it, if you come to Fiverr, I typed Google Map scraping, and then here is a list of some sort of a services people offer, right? And this one caught my attention. Here you can see that I will script Google Map data for you, all the features and emails for 33.74 Canadian. He has a 69 views 4.9 in total and then here is the all the information he will help you to script and on top of it he pulls you exactly 5,000 records two-day delivery on top of it there is a standard plan $160 and a premium plan $400 for this specific seller or the person he's definitely leveraging scraping as a service to make passive income and now let's address the elephant in the room which is the out scraper tool once you have the tool here's how the dashboard looks like on the left hand side we have a google services when you expand this we include all the maps data we can pull review data itself maps by website basically punching a whole bunch of uh, domain url here and it will pull the google listing for you and we have a google play reviews if you have certain apps on google play store you can actually pull reviews this way scraping is what i mean by pull google shopping review also have amazon services including amazon products and reviews so overall you can see that it's pretty powerful tool and now let's come back to google maps and we're going to start to pull our first data in the local region in vancouver bc so the first thing you want to narrow down is the category you want to narrow down on the local businesses otherwise it's going to be thousands maybe millions of small businesses in your local area depends on how big your city is right if i click on this check all categories it leads me to this list this is a giant long list that covers all different industries as well as categories just for demonstration i'm going to go with a real estate agency in vancouver bc think about it maybe you have a photographer service or videographer service website building service and a drone pilot 3d mapping guess what this is going to be such a game changer and going to save you so much time and effort so for location and country i'm going to go with canada for the city i'm only checking vancouver so it's pulling vancouver bc canada's data on a real estate agency and now results limits if you put a zero that means it's unlimited for example you already used up 4,000 credits this month you only want to pull 1,000 credits so you don't want to go over your limits then you can input your number here otherwise if you put a zero that means unlimited if there's a 1,000 um, Vancouver real estate agency, it will give you 1,000. If there's two, it give you 2,000, right? Another cool thing is you won't be billed for any some sort of a duplicated data records and you can ignore without emails. If I check on this, if this business doesn't have an email, it will ignore it. And that's pretty much it. In here, there's a two really important feature that I really, really like. One of them is called the email contact scraper. So not only it finds their email address, 
also it will validate the email address which is the second option right here for example sometimes company might leave on their google listing sample at gmail.com right that thing is a hard bounce it will not go through so in this situation i wanted to validate their email address before i actually send their email so at the bottom you also have a phones enricher in my case i'm going to choose the first two options so advanced parameters here you can check the language and limit pre-query and all that stuff and then to the bottom you have other parameter here you can do excel sheet csv json file so in my case i'm going to stick to a spreadsheet and that's it click on get data so basically this is an estimate and the total time is going to take is three to six minutes for this entire scraping process rough estimate query is going to be 300 and rough cost is 2.57 so that is pretty much it once you're done with everything click on confirm and it's going to send this task into your task query list we have a send a query you can see on the top right corner click on the task it'll lead you to right here so you can see currently it is in progress i've also tried this to pull 1000 local neo salon businesses so as you can see it's in progress we're halfway through so go grab a coffee grab some drinks just relax sit back for a few minutes and we're gonna come back and refresh this page a few moments later all right guys here we go we have a finished scraping around 315 vancouver based realtor here so one thing i noticed is that it definitely took more than three to six minutes i started this query at 6 20 and it just finished so it took around 30 to 34 minutes i assume it's because the validation process might take a little bit longer right if you just purely script it it might be much faster however if you want to validate a lot of these data it might take a little bit longer than three to six minutes and now once you're done with that just click on this google map data click on it once it will automatically download this excel sheet into your download folder so what i'm going to do now is actually load this spreadsheet onto my google sheet so you guys can see what kind of data we're pulling here i'm just going to drag and drop this file into my google sheets i'm going to create an entire new spreadsheet click on import data a few seconds click on open now and here is an entire data we scripted let me zoom it all the way out here let's quickly look at what kind of data we're pulling okay i'm going to select everything here i'm going to double click on the sales adjustment here you can see here is a query right which is correct a real estate agency vancouver bc and here's a list of all the vancouver based real estate agents right here we'll have a 315 of them in total third column here is their website so this is where you can actually go direct to their website and a really really important information you want to pay attention to could be these two really useful ones I'm going to mark them with different colors here and you can see that here is a review rating and review counts the first one is their review rating what if I snap out a finger ask you what is real estate agencies in Vancouver their average business rating you probably have no clue right however if I select this entire row at the bottom right corner click on that sum you can see average of Vancouver real estate agency their average rating is around 4.5 on average so some Suddenly, if someone is below 4.5 or below 4, you can reach out to them and say, hey, did you know the average of Vancouver agency, your competitors are 4.5? You are way below. Let me help you to bring it back to 4.5 and above. And then the second column here, V column, is actually how many reviews they have. Another cool thing you can do is select this entire sheet, click on data, and we want to create filter. For example, I'm going to say, hey, maybe give me Z to A. So highest review go on top. If I go with an A, to Z and this is going to sort based on the least review to the most reviews these six columns are really interesting not only we can see how many reviews they have we can see how many views people view their ratings basically for example five star review for this business generated 1800 views versus one star review of this business only has a 36 views in total right and then another really useful column here is a verified column if you find any realtor or agency that's not not being verified you can definitely give them a call or email them to let them know that your business has not been verified if i scroll all the way to the bottom you can see from here all the way to here there's lots of false verification that is definitely something you can address and maybe reach out to them right and here's the most important part which is the email right you can see here we pulled all their realtors email or agency's email
email. Not only that, the most important part is you want to check the status. You want to make sure this is not invalid. It's a receivable or receiving, right? This is email one and validation. And then we can move on to email two and all email two's validation. And then email three and email three validation. Some businesses will have a whole bunch of email addresses. And from there, look at what the scraper also did. It's actually crowd Facebook page URL and their Instagram uh, URL here as well. And then their LinkedIn profile link here. And I found another really useful one is actually called the generators. I don't know why it's called the generators. You can definitely tell this is showing you what kind of website builder they use to build their website. This one used Wix builder versus WordPress. So there's a whole bunch of potential opportunity. You can have a grasp of your local businesses in different niche with this entire one spreadsheet. That is basically it on the entire review on Outscraper. What do you guys think about this tool? Is it powerful? Is this cool? What would you do utilizing such a tool to scrape your local businesses? Maybe share your creative thoughts and ideas below. I'd love to give them a read. This is Toriel Sultan signing out and I appreciate you watching this. If you haven't subscribed to the channel, make sure you do. I'll see you guys in the next one. Cheers.